okay you guys so i am not quite sure if this is going to end up being a video for a vlog or if i am just going to take you guys to what i was planning which is just to have you guys uh, watch me plan for the week we are about to end our homeschool year we end around the end of june and i just want to take you guys with me i want you to guys see how i am just trying to start thinking and accommodating things for what will be our summer plans i already expressed to you guys what i was about to be using with my kid i might change some things i've been continuing just reviewing what we've been doing as well what we did for for this year so i will take that all of that in consideration for me to be able to plan this week as well for what is going to be coming next which is our summer plans so i will see you next hi guys so this is the plan that i am using it's a simple plan by martindale i have another plan which is from school nest and that's the one that i was using uh that i am using for for us to work at home you will see me working with that eventually as well so here it is uh, but I right now I am going to be preparing this one which is the one that we use when we are on the go I have the books in here like always I have shown you guys uh, prior uh, how I plan my week but today it's going to be a little bit different because obviously we are starting to just finish all the materials that we need to be doing for our homeschool year for the current homeschool year and we are going to prepare as well for our summer and that's what you're going to be looking as well so i will try to move as fast as i can with this planner because i want to be able to just start with this planner as well to prepare for for what is going to be our summer correct so here i have a simple plan by mardell and i am just going to label the tabs here so bible and i always have the same pattern i don't know if i if you guys can see that but my desk is all moving around i'm not quite sure why maybe because i don't have it attached to the wall and I just was thinking on how I can just have him work during the summer that is not overwhelming and that I don't have to add him a lot of uh, materials because we don't want to do that since we're starting kind of like a late summer something that I noticed this year that I didn't like and if i am just talking about reflecting on how our year went i think the schedule that i that i used for this current homeschool year is something that i didn't like uh, i think i might switch some things for next year and i think that's how it's going to be happening from now on uh I, I am planning on switching how I had the schedule and how I am going to organize those subjects so we are able to work with them. Uh, but I think that it will be easy for us if I just maybe switch again from uh, our routine, the routine that I was creating. I think I want to switch that and made it a little bit more easy for us. And depends on how uh, many subjects uh, we're going to be working in for each certain day is how i am planning to organizing uh, the rest of the things that we're going to be doing whether it is projects or activities or field trips correct by that by me saying that what i'm trying to say is i feel like this current year uh, since our routine was broken I feel like everything it, it just didn't work the way I had it planned so it's a little bit more I feel like it needed to be more uh, consistent and uh, we were not being consistent with some of the programs 
as well i just add a lot of materials and that was actually not helpful so reflecting on that i think i would like to change some stuff i actually even made note on my planner here let me just see if i can show you guys but I just made no, just reflecting on those things in here and things the things that that I loved. Obviously, I always ask him and the things that we accomplish and things that I think that needed to be changed. Just reflecting on that. I think it's very important if you start reflecting on how your your current homeschool year was going and how you guys did things if you already if you are done with with your homeschool year if how things were working correct because if you see that something is not working you don't want to to continue with that you want to change whatever it is that was not working and trying just to make it better correct so here i am adding the bible made easy we don't have a lot left from the bible made easy uh, we just have a few pages and that is something that i would like to add in here we still continue with prayers and promises for boys for this week and i am going to continue with that for the rest of the week our end of the homeschool year will be next week which will be the 29 but for what i can see already is going like we are going to be ending a, a little bit ahead with some of the materials like the all about reading we're going to be finishing ahead as well we're going to be finishing ahead well we finished ahead a, a while ago it was with our fix it grammar program correct and he was continue with first language lessons for the world trained mind and I think we're going to continue with that during the summer. I am not quite sure yet. So that is the reason why I was expressing to you guys that I was that I was wanted to just see if I was able to change some things for the summer. Uh, and I might do that. I want to just relax a little bit and at the same time just simplify things in our homeschool. And that is something I expressed to you guys that was going to be one of my plans for this homeschool year to just simplify things because we were a little bit stressed uh, for this current year with the things that we had it to do. I had a lot of doctor's appointment appointments and I think that that just took us out of our routine plus I work outside so that obviously does not help obviously but if i just can adjust the schedule i might be able to work something out correct so here i will add as well all of our reading i add the lessons we are just reviewing at this point he already finished with all of our reading he already uh, went through the last lesson but this is just as a review before we move to what will be a, our new all about reading level which will be level four i am so excited it took us long but we are already there and we are just continue working with our all about reading until we are done i am it's a bittersweet because it's the last level and we are about to finish and we've been enjoying all about reading with all about spelling wheels we are still going slow we are with All About Spelling Level 3 working very, very slow, but we are continue working with it, which is what is important that we continue progressing, correct? And that we can work with the programs well. And I can see that he's learning and progressing. So I will continue just labeling these for our uh, first language lessons and as well for math which we're doing primary mathematics and that is working excellent as you say and i have to say that i can't believe that i paid i think it was one dollar or 25 cents around that price for the books from the thrift store and then i decide to purchase the rest of the teacher guides and everything from the thrift store and i just save a lot of money they were pretty much they were new actually and uh, it, it's been so helpful 
to up. Here I add already everything that we need. So I will look at the Bible Made Easy and we were on page 370 if you notice. We are just pretty much finishing. We are still finishing on time because we're going to end this prior if we finish our homeschool year, which I already expressed that is for the last week of June. That's when I had it planned to finish. So 370 and we're going to be probably 371. And I usually review the next day. So 371 and I will look in here will be Let's see if I can get it here. 372. 372. And I continue the pens. If I see that I have to look through a lot of verses or I will look through uh, a, a big verse from the Bible, then I just tend to tone it down, correct, and just divide the days a little bit better. So, but so far it looks like everything is pretty four. So I just have to go 373. Now we're going for 373. With our last, I think this is the last page, 375. Yep, 375. And we will be finishing, like I said, if we continue with that plan, obviously, on Friday the 23rd with the Bible Made Easy. It's been a program that has been working so well for us. I really enjoy the Bible Made Easy. I liked how it was explained everything. We obviously use it with our Bible. So all the verses and all the, uh, the letters that were suggested for us to be looking for inside the Bible, uh, we did. So we use this book along with the Bible just to make sure that we corroborate everything correct. And uh, with being doing projects as well and activities, so it was a great, great book. I really do recommend this. It's very inexpensive as well. So I really enjoy this uh, book for Bible to study our Bible, help us study uh, and get uh, more deep with the Bible, obviously. So now we have prayers and promises and I just look at the previous week and it's 84, 85, and I will repeat just that because we've been enjoying as well, prayers and promises for boys we've been enjoying as well. So that is something that I like. We are not doing it on Friday. And now that I know that we are done for this Friday, I think that I would like to just uh, start looking to what will be our uh, programs for the summer. I would like to go just straight right away. And this is the book that I am going to be using for the summer for Bible. It says, if I could ask God anything, Awesome Bible Answers for Curious Kids. And this is by Katherine Slater. And I would like to go through these. I purchased this book used. It's completely new. So you can tell it's not written inside. The only thing that is written is that it has a dedication right there. I think it was a good purchase. I paid $1 for it. And it's good. So I think I would like to add these uh, probably for the next week. I am not quite sure yet if I would like to just plan it ahead, but so far I will leave it here because I think I would like to just make sure that I add these. I probably will start working for the summer with this planner because the last week that we have here to use is the last month I have is for June. And after that, there's nothing else that I can write in here. So I would like to use this one and continue for uh, using it for the rest of the summer and making notes in here. So you will see me planning in this planner as well, correct? So here I have, well, our prayers and promises. I have lesson 54 for all about reading and we're just reviewing because we finished already. He's very happy and very excited to start with the next level. But so far we're doing lesson, we were on lesson 39 with a, with our first language lesson. So we will do lesson 40 and it seems like it's a long lesson. So I would like to add lesson 40 in here as well. I will be adding as well writing and writing. This week we usually do writing, of course. 
We don't do first language lessons, but I do as well uh, have him practicing his cursive, which he's doing excellent. And for cursive, we are using pen time as well. I have him doing dictation in his planner. So he has the same planner that I have, which is the simple plan by Mardell. This is the student planner. I am using this for myself as well when we are planning for our homeschool on the go, correct? Because it's easy for me to carry. It's a compact planner. So it's easy for me to just being able to carry my planner. But here I have cursive and we, like I said, we are using pen time. He's been working excellent with his cursive. This is the book. It's a little bit mistreated because we do a lot of card schooling. But if you notice, he's been working very well with his pen time. So far, he's been working with his cursive, which is something that I think he's been enjoying. And we are going to continue with pen time as well. So that's a hint that you have of what we're going to continue for next year. I am pretty sure that he will be able to finish this for the summer. So this is another program that I would like to continue during the summer. But it's in a little bit during the summer, not uh, something too, too, too much. Uh, not a lot of materials that he will get overwhelmed, obviously. But I think I would like to continue that for the summer. He's using as well pen time for manuscript and this is how it looks i have a flip through the pages of all of them but if you would like to look that i'll leave that link in the description box for you guys but this is pen time for manuscript and i just have him practice his manuscript and he's doing very well i have to admit that i just like so much how he writes in cursive and i think this book is being very helpful with that I still notice that he needs a little bit more practice with his manuscript, which you would think is the opposite way that it should be easy. But in fact, I noticed that it's easy for him, his cursive, but he continued practice his manuscript. I have him practicing both. So we do what I do is that we do cursive on a Tuesdays and then on Thursday I have him practice at his manuscript. OK, so I add here manuscript. And then I add in here because we do spelling Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I will add in here spelling and in here he will have his writing. And for spelling, we're moving slow. I think I expressed that already. So we are on a step 16 and we're just reviewing. So he will be a step 16 here and a step 16 here. And it depends on how he does. I will just move him to the next step, will, which will be step 17. But so far, this is how it's looking. So writing, we continue with writing. We are doing all things fun and fascinating. We had a lot of doctor's appointments, so we're working a little bit behind to what I had planned already. But he's continuing working with his uh, writing. So we are almost about to finish the book. We still have a little bit. I think it will get us towards the summer but he's been working very well with his uh, writing so we are on lesson 13 i think it is let me see if i'm not wrong lesson 13 yes correct so he's on lesson thir lesson 13 working lesson 13 i always have him reading the the story and prior he does the keyword if he has something to do that will help him to create that keyword even better having those quality adjectives ahead of time those strong verbs and ly words i just have him working with that if you notice it's a very short one so he will be finishing this in no time because he's been able to work with it very well he likes to work with he is all things fun and fascinating. He's been working excellent, if you want me to be honest. We just had a lot of doctor's appointments, but so far we've been working very well and he's going to continue. This doesn't have a lot of lessons, so he has until lesson to work with this book. I think it's lesson 24. Let me see if I am sure. Yes, lesson 24, and that'll be a final review. And if you want me to be honest, I, I mm, am pretty sure that we are going to be end up uh, doing this during the summer and he will be finishing during the summer. It'll be very quick and easy. So that's what we're going to be doing. So he will be continuing with uh, all things fun and fascinating here for lesson 13, which is what we've been doing. 
I think I did this wrong. Oh, I grabbed the pencil, but let's continue here. Okay, lesson 13 so far there. I will leave it like that just in case I we see that he finished uh, with that fast because if you notice, it's a short lesson. So I would like to leave it like that. I didn't add anything in there neither. So here I have primary mathematics. With primary mathematics, again, we are going a little bit not to what I had planned because we had a lot of doctor's appointments and I think that just will hurt our routine as well might work. So it was a little bit complicated. So I will leave this blank because we're working with primary mathematics, but we are not to what I had planned. So I will just leave it like that just to see. And in here we have history and geography. We've been working with America as a story as well with a story of the world. We are working very well with a story of the world and we are working with America's story as well. So we've been catching up with that, thank God. And we've been uh, getting to what we need to be getting with history. So I will just fill this out so you guys can see uh, how it's going to be ending because I want to make sure this video don't take long because I would like to show you guys how I am uh, processing or I might even create another video where I just brainstorm what will be our summer. I already show you guys the books that I have, that I was planning on using for the summer, but I would like to show you how I go through planning how things are going to be working for the summer. Here I have America's story. I just labeled these already. I have it here, our primary mathematics. I just want to show you because we've been working with it. I already expressed that. I purchased as well extra practice for him from this book. So he is in fifth grade but we've been working with this book which is I will say it will be almost a second grade but it's obviously a little bit ahead if you notice this is second grade but it's already starting with multiplication and division and I will say it's a little bit uh, advanced but I do like it it's been working very well for us I purchased the extra book here this book uh, and i purchased this use you can tell already but it was new it's completely new it's not written or anything and i will use it just as a way to review with him again more so he understand but he has multiplication division for him to be able to practice more when it comes to that money and i think it, it is going to be working very well for us so far he's been enjoying it he still has to go through the second book which is this one in here i am hoping we can do this during the summer if not it's okay i am not in a hurry i want him to be able to understand he was doing simply good and beautiful he was doing book three correct but i noticed that there was some gaps we switched a, a few programs math programs he was doing as well abeka arithmetic from abeka we did as well uh, ecpc all in one and i noticed there were some gaps we he came from uh he was going to public school and then we decided to homeschool but i was doing homeschool pretty much with him what we call after schooling every time he was coming from school so we were doing a lot of materials and I think it, it was not being helpful for him to be up at, at a public school. The math that he was getting was not helpful. So I am just trying to just get those gaps. And I notice he needs a little bit more when it comes to multiplication, learning those uh, multiplication facts. And as well, uh, I just want to review very well. And if I just have to go all the way back, I, that's fine. I just want to make sure that he's understanding prior, he continue moving from uh, levels. I would like just to make sure that he's understanding. So he's been working with these. Sometimes what I do just to see if it's really working because I want to make sure this time is that I just have him working with these and do one page or two of the of the uh, Simply Good and Beautiful to see how it's going. And I can tell that this program is working for him because I noticed that he's understanding and he's grasping the concepts better as well. I feel like it's simple for me to implement. I like how the guy explains everything in a way for you to be able to make sure that they are comprehending and just uh, 
retaining what they are learning. I like that. I do have to say that the guide is a little bit confusing at some point. I will explain that as well later on. But so far we are working with primary mathematics. This is from Singapore Math Thread and it's been working very well for us. So I have as well the teacher guides and I show you guys a flip through the pages. So if you would like to see more of these, you can check it out. But so far, these are the teacher guides. So this is for the second level that you just saw now. So if you notice, it's just a black and white uh, book, but it has some activities that you can do just to make sure that they are comprehending that material and that they are understanding. And this is the book for primary mathematics is pretty much new. I purchased these from the thrift store. And if you notice, it's not written. All the pages are intact. And it's just so good that I was able to just find these at, at a good price. I think I paid like three or four dollars for this book. So that's good. So here is what we do as well. We use this for math is this notebook that I have in here for him to be able to do some of the work in here. So it's just graphic paper and it's just the biggest square. So I think that's helpful as well. So that's primary mathematics for fun. I think I might have him finishing his um, math minecrafters from phone schooling for the summer, maybe working here and there with these. He's been working already with, with it. He sometimes grabs it and just let him go and just grab again. And it's just like that. But I have him in here because I think it's a good review and it's a fun way to just review math. And now I am showing you guys America's story. So we've been working with America's story. I expressed already that he was not very happy with uh, America's story. Like he didn't like so much. I am not quite sure why. I really love it. I really liked it, but he's not been enjoying it. So I would like to find the middle ground where we can enjoy both history and uh, just to keep that interest. I think history is very important. It's a very important subject. I know some people don't uh, agree with me, but I think that knowing, you know, your history is America's history prior. You start with anything that is around the world, even though we are doing uh, a story of the world. I think it's important that he knows first from uh, the history of America. So we've been working with this book and we are on chapter 22. So I would like to add here chapter 22. That's where we're going to be going with these here. There we go. The industrial revolution. And we're just going to go through that, reviewing that all over again. So I will add here chapter 22. Okay. And now we are going to be looking at a story of the world. So with the story of the world, just and I have, I will add eventually the activities that he's going to be doing with America's story. I should say that. And we probably are, I am not quite sure if I would like to stop America's story for the summer. So he don't have to do a lot of things or just continue going since he's about to finish the book. It just has 28 lessons. So if you want me to be honest, we might even finish this. I might not. Let's see how it goes. But he will continue then with the story of the world. For story of the world, we are on time. So he will be doing, I think it's chapter 36. Chapter 36. Chapter 37, actually. So chapter 37. And 37 here. Correct. We do it two days. So Wednesdays and Mondays and Wednesdays and then Tuesdays will be geography with geography. I have to say we haven't touched geography at all after the last time and that's been a while, but I am pretty sure that we are going to be able to tackle geography during the summer, which is something that I would like to do because I would like to create some projects for him. I do consider geography important. I think it's very important that he knows how to read a map. I think it's very important that he knows how to look at a road map and be able to understand it. I think those are good skills for your kids to have. And I think it's very important for us to go through geography. And I am going to plan something else 
for the next year for geography as well so that is right there on the plants so i will leave it blank for right now because of that and as well with science we've been working with science but very slow again the, the appointments that we had uh, that was not helpful to us so we continue with science with the skill sharpeners i would like to change the science for next year that's something that i express already and I think that's what we're going to be doing. So here I will add alphabet and vowels for Spanish. I continue reviewing the vowels even though he already knows it. Here I will add alphabet. La Cartilla Fonética, which is a book that I already show you guys. For him to practice his Spanish, vowels, blending sounds, as well reading us all the things spanish i think i show it to you guys but i would like to show it again so this is la cartilla fonética nuestra cartilla fonética has big print big letters so that's something that i like and he enjoys as well pictures so they are able to understand i just start with the vowels every day okay? so if you notice big letters here uh, big pictures and i just continue like that it has the blendings sentences more blendings in each page with the pictures as well so they can understand so that this is a book that has been working for us and it continue working for us cartilla phonetica we are using as well this little book and i am using this book just to read to him so he gets his ear used to it correct to the spanish so i am using this simple book for spanish i show this book prior i purchased other books that we have read as well in spanish and we are using more i am trying to purchase a little bit more books for spanish so we can continue practicing and as well during the thursdays and fridays we do a little bit of game in spanish and i do conversational spanish here so he can get used to that to listen to me speaking in Spanish as well. I go through the days of the week and things like that. So he's able to learn that. He's been learning Spanish. He knows how to read it pretty much, if you want me to be honest. And he knows his vowels. He knows the alphabet already. Uh, I am just introducing now uh, for him to get used to the sounds more, conversing in Spanish, and for him to just being able to identify things in Spanish. So that's something else that I like to do with him correct so so far that's how it looks my planner i will add in here for our spelling dictation so one sometimes i do a little bit more sometimes i do a little bit less because he still has dictation during this day as well let me just add there and that's how we keep reviewing the words. He has vocabulary, and that's something that I forgot to add in here. Vocabulary Mondays and uh, Wednesdays. Yes, I'm getting confusing here. Mondays and Wednesdays, he has vocabulary, and we use the book from the vocabulary that we get from IEW. And if you notice in here, let me just show you guys. This is my binder for it's quite cloggy in here for the materials that we use the answer keys uh, here you have all about homophones that's something that is we're going to continue for next year and here i have all things fun and fascinating this is the answer key and the lessons are in here for the teacher correct and some games as well so here i am using this vocabulary with him and he's been practicing this as well as the vocabulary from the fix it grammar so that's what we do for vocabulary correct and in here as well i have more materials from the iew math sheets that we use to review here i have the the answer key for uh, simply good and beautiful as well more answer keys in here i if you would like i flip through the pages of this binder i will show you guys I, I don't have a problem with doing that with more detail but this is how i am using this binder uh, so i will eventually add more to this okay so here is how this week is going to look for us i am going to be adding obviously once we continue working with primary mathematics and science which is the ones that we have a little bit just not to what we need to be going as 
off right now. I expressed that this was probably going to be a vlog at the same time, but I just want you guys to see that it's not so easy and the mess that I have in here for just being too a, a really big mess that I would like to tackle as well during the summer. So you will probably see more of me uh, doing just what we are going to be planned for the summer. I think I would like to just leave it here because it'll be a lot. I will be showing you guys how I will be planning for the summer. I already show you and give you a peek of the books that we're going to be using. They're not all, obviously, but I would like to just simplify things. So I would like to tackle as much as I can during our summer, but at the same time, not to do it overwhelming so he can enjoy his summer as well. But I would like to switch the camera to show you guys this mess in here so you guys understand what I am talking about. Okay, you guys, so here you can see the mess that I created. I even just dropped that there. I have to accommodate the desk so you, I was able to record everything for you guys. But you can see already the books that I was uh, working with with the planner. I have to organize that bookshelf again because we have to take whatever it is in there that we already used. As well, I have to tackle that basket <laughs> which is full of papers that I just corrected already some of them need to co be corrected as well I have the binder that I am going to be using there for the portfolio and then in here I have our three tier card that if you notice is packed with some of the books that we're going to be using for next year as well from some of the books and readers that we have used already. If you notice, all our programs are in here. All the binders is completely packed. It's just a little bit of a space in here that I have. And then if I move here, you're going to see that I have a pile in here that I have to fix. And then you're going to see a pile in here on top of the bed that I have to fix and all the pile that I have on top of the desk. So there's quite a few piles in here inside this closet as well i have more materials for homeschool and i have another closet that is full of materials of homeschool as well is the one that has our uh, art and That's sit that. i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful i expressed to you guys that it was kind of like being a vlog and at the same time a plan with me and i think that's what it was just expect some videos there. I will go little by little tackling stuff for the summer and as well for our new homeschool year, just getting myself ready, correct? We want to get ourselves ready so we have a peace of mind <laughs> when we are starting doing our homeschool, our new homeschool year. So I'll leave you guys here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below and just let me know if you want me to show you guys anything in particular, but I will just leave it here. I will see you then. Bye-bye.